so hello everyone hi this is me Anna with you here and today we are here as promised it's Wednesday evening right now and we are on the Levante Beach in Benidorm to check what's going on because um, we were said that starting from 8 p.m. probably all the beach areas will be closed as you might know so we headed down here right now it's let me check 733 and we're going to see what's happening if there are some police units here already if not and in general how they're preparing to close down for the bonfire holiday you know that today is san juan it's officially the beginning of summer but right now what i can see which is very frustrating actually is that it's like less than 30 minutes left until the beach will be closed but there are a lot of people like look at that there's a lot a lot of people everything is open the uh, jet ski rental the uh, water sports rental everything is working there is no sign that they will be closing it i know a lot of um, places especially in the north part of spain in galicia for example they've had already all the uh, things prepared to shut down the beach and to limit the access but um here i can't see any of this just for now i'm gonna go and ask one of the girls one of the helpers on when the beach will be closed um and if they're gonna put some like borders some yellow signs or something stripes or something just to let people know that they cannot get inside already but i can see that some of them are actually going out of the beach right now so probably they will slowly start advising people that they need to abandon the beach area by 8 which they were doing during all day i must say because i came here today to make the news for you and she told me if i know what's gonna be happening today so um i think this is the case le voy a preguntar si de verdad es a las 8 vale a la chica Okay, so I'm going to ask. Dani. Perdona, es que está haciendo el vlog para mi canal. Era a las 8, ¿verdad? Que cierran las playas hoy. A, para... ¿A qué hora? A las 10. A las 10 al final. Es sí. que el nuestro de la Albir cierra a las 8, por eso. Es que alguna cierra, la Vila, por ejemplo, cierra a las 4. Aquí en Chile han puesto a las 7, pero vamos, a las 10. A las 10. Por eso, es, que, es que es lo que he escuchado, que era a las 7. Digo, qué raro, hay tantísima gente en la playa. Digo, a las 7 no. se ocupa la playa porque es ahora que ya no puede estar. Vale. Y pondrán algunas vallas como el año pasado. Supongo que la policía algo. irá desalojando. Irá desalojando. Que se quede, pero supongo que ahora... Vale, 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 pues nada. Gracias. So, um, strange thing happened. The dicen que al final lo han cambiado era las 7, pero han decidido dejar tiempo hasta las 10 a la gente. ¿Te imaginas? So, um, as I've said, very strange. Uh, what she basically said to me, well, the those who know Spanish a little bit, you could understand probably. Uh, oh, por aquí. What she said is that um, initially it was at this time, even at 7 o'clock, our Albiers beach is closing at 8. Uh, here in Benidorm they wanted to close at 7. But uh, right now at the very end, basically they said that, nah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. We will let people stay here until 10 p.m. as usual. And then starting from 10, there's going to be uh, police officers um, and uh, um Lifeguards probably not, but police officers and these helpers that are working here on the beach area, they will be going through the beach areas and just letting people know that they cannot stay here anymore. Um, I've asked her if they're going to put something to delimitate the area so that people wouldn't be able to get on the beach. Uh, to what she basically answered that um, no, they will just simply be going down the beach, checking who is there and just letting people know that they need to abandon the beach area which is kind of strange because um the government this is why i say that you cannot always trust what is being said on the social media like in general the television i mean um because 
we've been told that everything is going to be exactly as last year that it's going to be very harsh like hard measures no one will be able to enter the beach starting from seven for example in via joyosa which is um right there is poniente beach and and on the other side there is la villa via joyosa so right there the beach closed down at four for example in albir it's closing also at um eight and right now here they've said it was at seven but as you can see no closure until 10 which is shocking but maybe it's for the best as well i mean a lot of people won't be doing anything special in any case just because um well it's pandemics nothing is there's not going to be any concerts there's not going to be any bonfires here there's not going to be anything like specific for these holidays as it is which is very sad but it is what's going to be happening this year so probably a lot of people that are coming here just not going to celebrate anything special they're just going to enjoy their time on the beach as they usually do um, and then just have a nice dinner somewhere outside or at home on the terrace and basically that's it maybe someone will make a barbecue but um, not more than that sadly this year exactly the same thing happened last year but last year everything was closed there were like um yellow like things in here i'm gonna put you the exact word on the screen because my head is just like empty right now <laughs> at this very moment i cannot remember the exact uh, word of it um but yeah the, everything was closed no one was able to enter there was a lot of police officers everywhere going checking that there will be no one but right now it feels like people just relaxed quite a lot they um, are already thinking about the masks being taken out in a few um, days from now and they kind of feel that the, be the worst thing has passed and nothing bad will happen so they just are enjoying themselves here in Benidorm and don't think about anything else the same with local authorities probably um, they are just letting people to stay a lot more time on the beach as it was initially said and as it has been approved by law by the Spanish government which shows once again that every part of Spain is somehow independent in a way that you can decide like the region can decide for themselves what to do and this is what they basically did even Benidorm itself they've decided not to shut down the beach until 10 when they were said they should be doing it by 7 uh, just because you know in general for example the logic what is the logic be between all this so what they think is that for example if if uh, Via Joyosa is shut down by 4 all the people who want to go to the beach and cannot go will go to the nearest town to enjoy the beach which is Benidorm if Benidorm beach is closed then but Albiers beach is open or the other way around doesn't matter so the beach that is closed all these people that want to stay on the beach and have a nice time will eventually go to another closest town or village to enjoy this same beach and the sea they won't be at home if they want to go out and stay on the beach so it doesn't make any sense um this is why albir has closed as well at eight um when i asked them they said basically that yes we're closing because we don't want the huge amount of people to come to albir knowing that all the other beach areas are closed uh, but this is basically what's happening right now i can see uh, not a lot okay it's not exaggerated amount but I can see people on the Levante beach and there at the end also there's quite a lot of them right there still so I feel like a lot of people came here knowing that it's not going to be closed which is also not always safe because not all people are taking precautions and necessary measures uh, to keep them safe and their families and the other people from them as well see there's just some police officers passing by they're just checking all the situation um but nothing else i was very surprised i was expecting to have uh, something else something major happening here but it's actually not i'm gonna go right now back home to albir and i'm gonna show you probably the difference between this beach and the beach of albir our small village near benidorm and we will see is 
there is any kind of difference if there it's closed if not are there any police officers just standing there and checking the beach is free from people we're gonna check it out right now so let's go with me so i just came now to albir and it looks like completely different here what we have is all these markets they are open people are just wandering around but the major difference is this one there is a stripe here that basically says local police and that you cannot actually cross But there's someone who clearly does not understand the signs there. But anyway, the police is here to, to let them know. And as you can see, everything is closed. And there is already a guard that is going towards that woman. Um, but a lot of people just think that probably you cannot do bonfires. Probably you cannot like sit in big groups here. And they don't think that you can simply not cross this line, you know. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's no one else except this one woman here. All the people are just walking or just sitting down, not crossing like the beach line. Um, there are not many police officers, I would say, but um, these are just like... Um, local guards that help the police in case of big events or in case of um, some specific events that are usually held here in the area when there is quite a big number of people or where when they see that there might be any problems with huge number see right now for example these ones they also said them to leave the beach because you cannot sit down here basically you cannot be on the beach line, like you cannot cross this line in general. I just want to see what's going to be happening there because the person clearly sees that the guard is coming to her. She knows that she cannot be there. So like, why? Why do you bother? Just like, I don't know. Why do some people need any kind of problems? So like, for example, he told her to leave but she's just saying no like no like with a hand like let me leave me alone and things like that so that's basically what's happening so this is basically what's happening in here these were the things that I meant when it said that last year they've been everywhere here. But right now they've just delimited the area with these stripes and that's it. Let's go slightly further on just to see if we can see some police officers. Maybe we can see some more uh, people from official protection. But in general, as you can see, all people are quite civilized. They know that they cannot cross the line. So here in Albir, we basically don't have any kind of problems with that. Um, they are all just sitting in the bars, somewhere enjoying themselves, having a early um, dinner, maybe just walking around, going to the Luca Park. That's that one like market right there where you have a lot of different um, play areas and just to have some fun with your family and with children. And basically this is how it is here in Albir. It's a totally different thing than what you've had in Benidorm. Uh, and there you could have seen a lot of people and here everything is calm and quiet. The majority of people that are here are families uh, or couples that just don't, are not conflicted, you know what I mean? Uh, so no one says anything people just say okay. I didn't know okay. Sorry. I'll go now in case they cross the line of the beach um, And someone will see it but apart from that Everything is very calm and quiet here It's very strange to see How things have changed lately 
Um, I'm gonna put you probably a few pictures here on the screen on how usually Ogeras and San Juan is looking. Uh, it's totally different from what it is right now um, so that you could see and you could compare it for yourselves. But as you can see this year, no Ogeras, no bonfires for us. Exactly the same that happened last year, but last year Benidorm was also closed earlier the same as Albir this time they've decided somehow that they should be opening not like all other cities and towns here but it is what it is by the way even um, children's playgrounds that are here are also closed just because they are all on the beach area so it's a lot more difficult to control where people go from here this is why they've decided to close everything in general and actually I cannot see anyone from here oh no I can I can but this is in Altea see that's the problem um, right here at the end there is a roundabout and from there, uh, the uh, Altea town starts. And there I can actually see some people. Although I'm almost sure that it should be closed as well. I don't know why there are some people in there, but uh, all these cities should be closing in the area so that people would not go to other beaches. But it is how it is very strange to see this city like this hopefully next year everything will start being normal again and we will have our favorite day of the year which is the official beginning of the summer season and official beginning of the swimming season in the beach here in Spain By the way, today is going to be the day when there's going to be a pink moon, strawberry moon, how you want to call it. And I'm definitely going to go and film this for you. At least I'm going to post one picture on my Instagram so that go there and follow it. I'm going to leave you here the name on the screen if you still don't follow me there so that you could see the pictures. And if you will be seeing this moon from other parts of the world leave me your pictures in the comments and the messages as well would be very nice to see how this moon looks like from other parts of the world thank you all for watching today's video i know it's not an ideal video about traditional spanish holiday but it is how it is right now we all know it's not it's a very difficult situation um, so hopefully next year I'm going to be able to show you the true essence of the beginning of Spanish summer. Thank you all for watching and I'm going to see you tomorrow in a new video. Bye everyone!